the video tearing with Kubuntu 16.04 and KDE 5 is still pretty bad if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. But happily, there is a really simple fix. Now, I know a couple of people mentioned this to me a little while back, and I'm sorry I would give credit, but unfortunately I must have been drinking too much and I've forgotten who you were, so I do apologise. The fix we're going to make is setting the environment variable GL yield equals usleep. There is also another setting you can change with the triple buffering, but I found that didn't really make any difference with my NVIDIA GTX 560 Ti graphics card. GL yield equals usleep was the best change to make, and that totally eliminated the tearing. So if you open up console, we'll grab a copy of the necessary script from my website, so that's wget quidsup.net forward slash sh forward slash kwin underscore env dot sh. Take a look at it, see what we have, and it's very minimal. In fact, there are really only two lines which are actually necessary. And that's to start the script off, and then this export geo yield equals you sleep variable setting here. That's all that's necessary. There are a couple of different options for where you need to place this script depending whether you have KDE 5 or KDE 4. And being Linux, there are even more options that you could use. But what you need to achieve is to have this script run at startup. I have KDE 5 running here in Kubuntu 16.04, so I'm going to use the folder here with .config forward slash plasma workspace forward slash env. There's a note of all the necessary commands in the video description. So mv kwin underscore env dot sh to the plasma workspace slash env folder. Let's go across there and take a look at the files. Now that script will not run because it only has read write privileges. Now I want to make this file executable. The way to do that, chmod plus x, or you could use chmod 775 or 777, whichever one you prefer. So chmod plus x kwin underscore env dot sh. So now when I look at it, we can see it has read write executable privileges. So that script will now run at boot up. It's up to you whether you want to reboot the system or just try and log out and log back in. I went for the simpler option of rebooting. So that's how you reduce the video tearing with an NVIDIA graphics card in KDE. I've got a couple of videos here to demonstrate the difference, but I will warn you, there's quite a lot of flashes and rapid changes in the picture. So if you suffer epilepsy, I would advise you stop the video here. So I've removed the audio to avoid copyright. But you can see here that the tearing is horrific when you've got a rapid change on the image. And this is with the GL yield equals you sleep activated. And you can see there is no more tearing. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.